some people cringe at the very mention of the words brick and mortar. Ooh, that's the way my grandparents shopped. According to the U.S. Commerce Department, Americans made over $500 billion in online purchases in 2018. Groceries, clothing, and sporting goods are flying out of warehouses into your doorstep for delivery the next day or even hours. Consumers are purchasing cars and, yes, even houses without seeing and touching them in person. However, to paraphrase Mark Twain, rumors of the death of brick and mortar are greatly exaggerated. Online sales have risen from 5.1% of total retail sales in 2007 to 14.3% in 2018. So that means brick and mortar still controls nearly 86% of the market. It's still the 800 pound grill in the room and can't be ignored. The demographics aren't surprising for who's buying online. Millennials 67%, Gen Xers 56, Baby Boomers 41% and Seniors 28%. Brick and mortar retailers must leverage advantages over online, such as try it on, sit on it, take it for a test drive, squeeze it to see if it's right. You can't do that online. You can speak face to face with a company representative and get immediate feedback. Avoid shipping costs, grab it, pay for it, and drive home. And concerning the overall retail experience, people may not remember what you said, but they will remember how you made them feel. Brick and mortar isn't dead, or even close. It's just evolving, as it always has.